candy and welcome to vlogmas this is not how i wanted to start vlogmas but here we are um i have gotten some sort of sickness <laughs> i don't know quite what it is yet because i it just kind of started yesterday um but my throat is sore and my body is so achy so i'm gonna be taking a covid test here in a little bit because like I, <laughs> I know this sounds really bad, but I have to go to work tomorrow. Um, I am the only one that can process payroll, and it is payroll. So I have to go. <laughs> so I'm, I came home early today, and uh, I got home at like, I think, like 12.30 or 1 o'clock. And um, I was home for maybe half an hour before I fell asleep. <laughs> I just want to feel better. Um, the last, like week at work has been a little bit nuts because we had Thanksgiving um last Thursday and uh I had Thursday and Friday off and spent it with Cody and it was awesome and then uh Saturday I had to work the whole day and I found out when I got to work Saturday that my other counter person uh that has been there a really long time Jane she wasn't feeling well and I was like oh no I knew her daughter was sick and so I hadn't seen her since Wednesday when I left <coughs> Excuse me and uh, she was really really sick she had the flu really bad she has an ear infection so she was gone Monday Tuesday Wednesday and she came back today she's not a hundred percent she's wearing a mask and she's like I'd rather be at work than at home and I was like okay that's your choice um, I was a little bit thankful because I feel like absolute trash as well um, but so Monday she had called in sick and the other girl called in sick so I worked open to close all by myself on a Monday during snow rush whoa uh, Tuesday our new girl came back she's not um, we haven't trained her enough she's only been with us like a week and a half so I can't leave her by herself she doesn't know enough to you know do all the things that are required uh, so Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I worked open to close and Wednesday I because I've been working full days up front and not doing my office job and so Wednesday yesterday I had to come in early and get that done <laughs> so yesterday I worked a 12-hour shift and that that was tough because I started feeling crappy in the afternoon and it was a rough rough ending to the day so anyway today's vlogmas is gonna be super simple we're gonna do our advent calendars I'm gonna introduce those to you guys and uh, we're just gonna like spitball and uh, maybe we'll talk about what we're gonna do I do have a couple ideas um, but like my schedule is packed you guys so <coughs> please bear with me um, I'm, I'm I feel like last year I didn't quite understand my job still I was like I had only been there like six months and you know I was kind of it didn't quite fully understand what snow rush was well now I do and I think I'm handling it a lot better I think my body is handling it a lot better I'm not uh, coming home so dead tired um, so I'm just I hope this year is gonna be great for vlogmas and we're all gonna have fun um, Cody just moved and so there might be maybe some decorating in his house or you know whatever um, I do have some family stuff going that we're gonna go to and stuff like that so there we go <laughs> that's that's what's going on I still have to work uh, all through vlogmas so keep in mind that my videos will either be super late in the evening or first thing in the morning uh, for the next day okay so like I said bear with me I'm not a professional youtuber I, or, or full-time youtuber this it's it's a hobby <laughs> all right so let's get to the first advent calendar which I'm excited about this is the one I got very first I got this back in October um, all right so <laughs> it's similar to the Funko calendars that I had done before um, but it's by Jack's Pacific <coughs> And it's for A Christmas Story, the movie. Um, now, I have not always been a huge fan of that movie. Uh, it's just not one of my favorite Christmas movies. I think there's other ones that are better. But 
I did go to the Christmas Story House when I was in Ohio and that was really really cool that was cool to see in fact I saw an article I think it was last week that that is up for sale the museum and the house and everything that would be you know that would be a story to own that you know how, how does this open what am I doing wrong does it open down it does okay so it opens down like that and little dogs pop up the neighbor dogs like that and then the figures can stand on here so are they numbered okay they're not numbered so we're just gonna start at the top go across and that's how we'll do it or we could do random like I don't, I don't have a preference what do we got here? This looks like little brother. Come on. No, this is something else. Okay, the only bad thing about these... I can't get it out of there. He's like in there, in there. Come on, little guy. <laughs> what the heck? I think I don't know I don't know exactly which character this is maybe it's one of the friends there we go so just a little guy and we can make a whole play set out of it once we get them all open I just thought this was super cute and maybe it's something that you can kind of set out every year if you wanted to so the other one that I'm really excited about is this one. This is from Beekman 1802. So <clears throat> the Beekman Boys was a TV show that I absolutely loved. It was back when I was still with Roger. So this is like six, seven years ago. So it's a story of Josh and Brent who uh, bought this... Um, I don't want to call it a plantation. It's it's a it's an estate and a, a goat farm, and they had a TV show that would follow them around as two city boys who moved to upstate New York to run a goat farm on this beautiful estate, and they help out the neighbors and they're just like super kind. Their whole business model is about kindness and you know just love. It really is. Um, they're so fun to watch and then they were also on um, the Amazing Race and their platform on Amazing Race was if they won uh, they would like I think it was like they would start a pasta sauce business and like give the proceeds to people in need anyway they did they won Amazing Race so anyway <laughs> they have a beauty brand called Beekman 1802 and it's not just beauty it's it's like a wellness brand I would say it's soaps and lotions and you know stuff like that so I got this calendar this was uh, kind of expensive I think it was n close to $200 but in the middle is an hourglass with a little goat in the top <laughs> I just thought that was super cool so let's open day one day one <coughs> it's a tube reduce your carbon footprint by walking or biking somewhere I have noticed uh, like I work downtown in Portland I do walk a lot more now because I can just go next door to the store or whatever so this first one is Milk Wash Exfoliating Jelly Cleanser. Directions. Apply one or two pumps to dry skin and apply gently onto face. Add water to emulsify into a milky cleanse. Rinse well and pat dry. Okay, well, let's wash my face. And then, to, wait, it just says dry skin, right? It doesn't say clean dry skin. And it is a cleanser. And I do have makeup on my face. 
So let's give it a try. One to two pumps, they said. I'm gonna get it on all my fingertips. Oh, feels nice already. It smells very like savory. I don't know if this is made to take off makeup. Probably not. So I'm probably screwing myself over on this. My hands are greasy. It's, I'm trying to describe the smell. I, I, I can't place the smell, but it's something savory. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying stupid things. grab a towel. This is my hair towel for my shower, so meh. I'm gonna wet my face because that's what they tell you to do to emulsify it. And then just gonna pat it dry. Like I said, I don't think this is meant to take off makeup. And my tubing mascara is all over my face. Okay, but it did clean my face really nicely. And adding the water, my hands aren't like that greasy looking or whatever. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so that's the two advent calendars we're gonna go through Vlogmas with. I'm gonna actually put this back. Nope. I'm just gonna put this back and then it falls directly onto the floor. Where's my recycling bin? There it is. I think that's gonna be all for today. <laughs> um, like I said, stick with me guys. I'm gonna do my best and I know that you guys will be there. There'll be a few that are like, if you're not gonna do it every day, don't call it Vlogmas. Get over it. I'm calling it Vlogmas. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Alright guys. I will see you tomorrow and uh, hopefully I will feel better. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ding dong, ding dong. It's Vlogmas.